Good morning, folks. We've got incredible news updates today. Disaster unfolding in Africa. Also going to peek in on dreadful weather and look ahead in the forecast, but we begin with our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours with no major eruptive events, just staring down that southern coronal hole as it tries desperately to reach up from the polar zone. The solar wind was even quieter. We do have minor fluctuations to be sure, but with none exceeding any significant space weather thresholds, let alone scary ones. Geomagnetism is quiet. Let's go to weather, where India's flood situation continues. Dozens of rescues occurred as this system was dangerous from the moment the clouds let go. Residual monsoon moisture does linger over much of the subcontinent. Anyone scorching on the west coast? Good news for you. After this low cell drives northern air down the coastline, the high that follows it is going to sit offshore a bit and do the exact same thing. Nice little cool down coming. Africa up next, Zimbabwe. Critical water emergency is underway. Millions have watched as their leaders toggle and jostle and pander while in a last ditch effort to support further water draw, they're aiming to raise prices from 80 cents per cubic meter of water to $7. Yes, folks, that's a 900% increase, which nobody there can afford, and it makes the Chennai-India drought situation look like a minor off day. Eyes on this, as it could get very bad. Let's go to the science and start at Sandia Labs in the heart of the new Valley of the Sun. They say that using their Z-machine, they have noticed that some of the solar inputs for equations of dynamics are wrong, namely the opacity figures. These will now be worked into the models to see how things shake out in our picture of the solar interior. Meanwhile, much of what we care about on the sun comes from the surface. Solar flares, CMEs, proton storms. Indeed, the proton storms have been studied here and they not only determined that the magnetic connection between Earth and Sun was required for the Earth's surge during major flares, but that it involves the heliospheric current sheet as well, where the magnetic connections between the planets and the Sun ride that solar wind electric field. You might recall this can be scaled up to the stars and the galaxy. It has a large-scale magnetic field coherence too, and so the material-laden central plane also has that neutral sheet and field reversal component. This is indeed our number one hypothesized trigger for the periodic solar outburst that causes the great catastrophe cycle of Earth. Up next, quick note from the world's number one geophysical journal. Looks like the Weddell ice sectors of Antarctica are shockingly stable. They say there is evidence of tremendous destabilization events in the past, but see no evidence of the sectors melting or destabilizing now. The last articles are a bit complex, so let's ease into them with a nice photo of UGC 695 from Hubble. We examined a similar diffuse galaxy 685 last week. Appears they might just be running down their catalog one by one. Now, anytime you can get a paper into FizRevD that favors literally anything over mainstream dark matter models, it is worth knowing about, especially with a name like Galilean Ghost Condensate. Interesting. Looks like Alma and Sophia are not alone in their recognition that magnetic fields drive the structure and shape of star-forming molecular clouds. And now we also get confirmation that those fields aren't playing as large a role in the star formation rates so that would have to be the plasma turbulence that Sophia noted over a year ago. Last but not least, back to the electric connections and electric sheets of the solar system. Earth interacts with these electrodynamically, as you might imagine, even well below the magnetosphere. And today we are seeing the best and most detailed look at the field-aligned currents of Earth ever made. They were able to notice patterns and trace causation of surge events. And folks, it is this electromagnetic coupling science that led us to the ultimate conclusions in climate forcing. Our movie from the end of August, which is sparking amazing conversations for some, scary emotions for others. Either way, the argument set forth has been relatively unassailable. And folks, we also mentioned the magnetic fields and plasma turbulence in space. We mentioned the galactic current sheet and how it could trigger the great cyclical disaster of Earth. All three of these topics are full films, linked for you below the video in the description box. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.